<laughs> Thank you for the warning. And <laughs> Welcome to Squad Says, everyone. I am Ted's Friends. And I am the Mike Robles, and this is Squad Says Guess. This is an uh, interactive trivia show where you, the audience, will make all of the decisions. Your job will be to help out your chef by answering questions. And for every question you get right, you'll earn points for your squad, as well as earn resources for your chef to start out with in our cooking show, Squad Says Serve. So if you haven't already, make sure you're logged into Twitch and that you've joined the squad. As a reminder, voting will only work if you're on a PC or a Mac, and you won't be able to vote if you're on mobile or a tablet. Yeah, the uh, uh, technology doesn't work on the Androids or the... Uh, the iPhones. Andrew, the iPhones, thank Yet. you. So, Yet. is everyone ready? Let's meet our judges today, Tifa and Kaylee. Come on over. Do, 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 do. Okay, do that every Don't time. Don't forget your questions there. Oh, right over here. You oh, go have a seat. Yeah, you guys can go have a seat right <laughs> yeah. over there. You want to hang on to those? All right, so uh, we've got judges Kaylee and Tifa. Uh, Kaylee, why don't you guys go and introduce yourself. Introduce yourself to that camera right over there. Tell the folks at home who you are, what you do, where they can find you on social media if you want to be found. Oh, do I want to be found? <laughs> um, I'm Kaylee Vancata, and I am a talent manager from Los Angeles, and I'm Ooh. excited to be here. Great, all right. I'm Tifa Robles. I'm a freelance writer. I've been in the game industry for a super long time. Uh, you can find me on Twitter, at Tifa Robles. Uh, yeah. That's <laughs> great. Yeah. Well, Let's get to know him a little bit deeper than that. Yeah, Let's get to know yeah, yeah. So, so Tifa, you actually, so fans of our, of our preseason might recognize you. Yes, this is my fifth or sixth time being on the show. Mm -hmm. From all that preseason. And we got the okay from Steve that you have a, a, a kind of an announcement about your, you on the show here, right? I'm going to be a regular judge. Yay. Yay. Yeah. That's right. I'm just be seeing a lot more yeah. of the Tifa Robles here. I'm super, super excited. Uh, the show has been really fun to be on. It's been awesome to see like it transform into what it is today. Uh, yeah, it's really great. Plus getting to judge people is kind of fun. Tifa, how can I trust you to be an impartial judge? You're married to Mike, <laughs> the purple squad leader. Oh, uh, well, Mike I, and I are very competitive. In I've our also, marriage. yeah, and I've read some of her answers to these questions. Uh, uh -huh. She's not impartial at all. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> so we're gonna have some fun. I'm curious this what the trivia. answers are gonna well, end you'll, up being. You'll see. Uh, Kaylee. Yes. Let's talk about. Let's talk about your agency. Let's talk about. Let's talk about you. Let's, let's what do you want to know about, about me? You. How did you get started? Arm folding things. I know. Got I love it. I'm getting an attitude back. I'm getting it. This is. This is. We'll call this in Hollywood the business. Yes. Ah, I'm giving, sorry, I'm giving I'm Kaylee Hollywood business. enough for you, Mike. Yes. I'm giving Kaylee the business. Let's <laughs> talk about how okay. did you get started as a manager in the business? In, in the, the business. business. <laughs> um, I got started, moved out to LA from Florida, and always wanted to be in the industry. And kind of started by a fluke as an assistant to a management company, All right, and yeah. then became a manager, and then became an agent, and now back to a manager. And so I've been doing it for like. 17 years? Wow, wow, that's so cool. Yeah. That's a long time to be an agent. And I, yes. I've, I've worked in Hollywood before the talent agency. Um, and man, agents can be brutal. I'm a manager now. I know. It's, it's, <laughs> I'm <laughs> glad. <laughs> I know. I'm just saying. I'm but glad yes, you went can, from. They can be brutal. I'm no Ari, but I, can, <laughs> I get by on like my, my sweetness and then I jab. And then you get jab. The money. Nice. Oh, my. Get the money. I enjoy <laughs> Mike over here going like, I was in Hollywood for a little bit. I was. Like, <laughs> I was. You just have that. You just I have was, it. As a matter of fact. Was you, your hair in Hollywood? For my hair was like, in Hollywood oh, for quite no. a while. In, fa <laughs> in fact, if you're going to call me out like that, if you watch the film Tenacious D in the Pick of Destiny, you can see me. Really? What? <laughs> Is this yeah. is true? Cool. This is true, actually, yeah. What? I'm, I'm, and as we say in the business, I'm pre-credits sequence. Oh. So I'm before Ooh, the la, credits, la. Right? I know. <laughs> I don't know I what know. that means. It means you well, see me. it's a business thing. It's a business. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm not in the business. <laughs> uh, it just means that you see me before the, the opening credits start rolling. Like, ah. I'm in the scene before the opening credits start rolling. Cool. That's it. Yeah. How exciting. I was in a town car commercial once. That's Ooh. <laughs> like the closest I ever came to. I've been in radio commercials. Ooh. 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 Okay. See, this is just, we, are, we Hollywood now. We all Hollywood. So, voting has started. For those of you guys okay. wondering what's going on right now. So okay. voting has started. We're going to ask, ask questions of our judges, and you guys are going to be able to answer these questions to be able to score resources for your chefs and squad says serve. We mentioned earlier. Nice. And in this round one, this first round up for grabs is uh, the chefs will get the pick of their knife. And they'll get to go first and served. Ooh. One. So let's go ahead and let's get these questions here. Okay. I believe it's you first, Ted. Oh, that's right, it is me. Green Squad has voted true on this one. Kayla would rather sing Bohemian Rhapsody on a crowded beach than clean five airport bathrooms. This is a really weird question, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I feel like there's only one good answer to this. Yeah. Well, the answer is I'd rather sing. Of course. But I did have to think about it for a second because airport bathrooms, gross, but maybe one bathroom? 
but would have done, five. but five? five. No, I don't think so. See, okay, I'm glad. I'm glad that that was in there, like five. Yeah, instead of just five. The one. I'd clean one airport bathroom, maybe. Or for singing want, Bohemian I Rhapsody. I want to sing Bohemian Rhapsody. Like that's a desired. Uh, oh, not if you can't sing. It is not a desire. <laughs> it can always be a desire. You gotta. Sometimes you just feel a song in your what heart. What if you, and you have, have enough let drinks? It out. Then is it? Well, would it be weird if I were to say that my desire was to actually clean a bathroom at an airport? You might be stress cleaning. <laughs> yeah, stress cleaning. That's See? true. And I do that. <laughs> well, all right. My mom Great. does that. <laughs> stress cleaning? Yeah. Uh, all right, speaking of Kaylee's life choices here, Kaylee, they voted true on this. You would rather use uh, your choice of utensil to eat ramen is chopsticks. Is that true or false? Well, I would rather use them, so yes, true. True, all right. But she... <laughs> But I really, I suck at using them, so I'd probably use a fork. So you'd probably use yeah. a fork, all so right. I don't know quite how that works in this. Okay, well, true or you false. said you would for true. Yes. But you answered false in production. Oh my God. See, I'm confused but, now. Okay, false. But you false. said you can't change it. <laughs> oh, Purple right. Spot doesn't get the point. Purple Spot. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, look at that. I'm Purple sorry. Spot already doesn't wow. get a point here. Uh, uh, I'm digging wow. this. There we go. I'm glad this is there happening. There we go. This is my favorite when. Uh, when the person comes on to the uh, show and then disagrees with the answer they I gave before. I know. Oh my this gosh. is my favorite moment. That's I just lost great. the point. I'm great. So sorry. Just lost no, no, it's a good for, thing. It's a good thing. You're I'm helping Green Squad. For the person you're repping, I don't want by to the way. Oh, oh my gosh. We hugged earlier. <laughs> we did hug earlier. Apparently, the hug meant nothing. You're right. Oh my <laughs> God. That was a holly. <laughs> that was a holly. It was a holly. It was a business hug. It was a business hug. That's a callback. Soma Pill says. LA hugs. Soma Pill says, yeah, we're making a Hollywood in Seattle right now. Yeah, we are. My God. So, Green Squad has voted false on this, Tifa, Tifa thinks that wheat is more important Catan resource than ore. Is that true or false? It's false. Ooh. Because there are more wheat squares on the board. Okay. So there's going to be more wheat to go around, and there's only three ore squares. Ooh, you're right. Yeah. Oh you god, need, I didn't even think about this. <laughs> no, more, wait. You need more ore for cities, which is like one of the easiest way to get more points. So you don't do longest road? Oh, I do longest road. Oh, so you do longest road as well. So as we like, need to have, so you what don't I'm need hearing. Heat for longest road. No, that's true. So what I'm hearing is we need to have Angelina and Tifa have a Catan off. Because Angelina also. I just want to play Catan. Goes, just wanna, <laughs> can we just want to play Catan. Can we just like stop gonna, the show? Squad, just play Catan now? Squad, like, that sounds fun. The squad says Catan. That's, that's the new, I'm that's in. the next show. I'm, Angelina oh, says she's in too. She's coming back. We're going to do squad. Great. Is this a record for like we've lost control already? Because now no, no, it's just, give it another hour. This is here we go. All right, uh, Tiba, they voted true on this. You think that landing on free parking in the game of Monopoly that you should get uh, you should get money from the middle? Yes. That is all right. That's true. We got we actually got one right. She said what was on the correct answer it means we got a point. But I don't have strong feelings because Monopoly is a terrible game. <laughs> okay, here's the thing. Okay. First of all, oh, first uh -oh. of all, I uh -oh. have strong feelings about this one. Oh, no. <laughs> Strong feelings. I'm a real gamer. Oh. <laughs> I often say that I am a fake gamer guy. So a fake gamer. Hashtag fake gamer guy. Yeah. So here's the thing. <laughs> You're never supposed to put money on free parking for anyone to take. The money is supposed to leave the game. That way it actually ends if you just put it in there. That's why it takes four hours. That's why it's nobody <laughs> likes Monopoly is because it takes four hours. Tifa rebuttal. You don't care. No, just don't play Monopoly. I just love play Monopoly, Monopoly. Especially right. the golf edition. Yeah. The Kayla, golf put, edition, oh my gosh. You that was Monopoly? the first one. Uh, I love Monopoly. <laughs> you do? Yeah, that's my game. It's a great game. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry is my game, actually. Ooh, that's a good oh, game. Sorry, Mine is actually, Don't Wake sorry, Daddy. That one's that's... a good one. What is it? Did you say Go Away Daddy? No, Don't, don't Wake Daddy. Oh, I'm like, Are you go talking away, about Daddy? the board game or yeah. something else? <laughs> well, the, the shaitan says, ooh, the smack clock is strong today. Uh, Ted, your squad made a vote. Ooh, they did. They voted true on this one. Kaylee yeah. does not heat her Oreos in any particular unusual way. Is that true or false? That's false. I oh. do eat it in kind of an unusual way. Ooh. I think a lot of people do. I like lick the, the I don't know why I'm doing this, but. Right. <laughs> How big are the Oreos yeah, you're eating? Yeah, I want that Oreo. Oreo. I lick all of that. Um, all the creamy oh center and we're off air. Um, <laughs> no, I lick the creamy center uh -huh. and then I eat the chocolate. So wait, so you eat the cream first yes. and then you just eat the chocolate? Yes. There are some people, I think that's normal. Is, I think it's that's, normal, that's normal. Too. There are some people who will lick it and then put it back together and eat it. Like, nope. oh. have you seen that? I, no. They even showed in commercials. I'm like, that's what a fly does. They like spit <laughs> on their food and then they yeah. eat it later to digest it. And aren't you just putting cookie against cookie then again? Yeah. yeah. Just... Instead of just eating cookie and cookie. Quick question yeah. for the group. Yeah. What's better, the cream or the cookie? The cream. The cream. Both. Together. You eat it at the same time. I'm the only one. Yeah. Cookies You're are the best. Uh, speaking of food choices, Kaylee, yeah. 
True or false? They voted false on this. You think it would last longer than one week in the zombie apocalypse? True. True. So it varies. So we got that yes. one wrong. Well, true. Why? True. Why do you think it lasts longer than a week? Uh. Uh, can I cuss on yeah, yeah, you're cuss Because I'm badass. Because you're badass. Uh, no, uh, yes. I think I, honestly, I think I'm, I, I have enough going on to be able to last maybe two weeks. All right. So you know, but definitely, definitely longer than, more than a week. week. Definitely longer than a week. Is it because is it you train? You CrossFit? Uh, I wish I CrossFit. Aren't you Hollywood? No. Everyone, everyone CrossFit? Um, no, P90X? Actually, it's probably because I'm the only person in Hollywood that's carbo-loaded. <laughs> so I've got, I will have plenty of energy Great. with all the carbs I need. That's awesome. All right. <laughs> Uh, is that a one month sub that we got there? That looks Camel like a one K. Month looks like a sub. one month sub. Thank you, Camel K, for that Ooh. one month sub. Uh, let's toss it over to Ted there. Awesome. So we've got here uh, another false vote from the Green Squad, and we are actually one point up on. Oh, two points up on you no, right you're now. They one, took you're the point one point. Away. Uh, we have a point. What? Production. They took the point away. Where production. Is our point? production. Yes. We have a point. Uh, Green Squad, two points up. Tifa thinks Mike would last longer than one week in a zombie apocalypse. That's true or false? false? I said true, because. Why? Thank you. I think he would befriend all the zombies and become the zombie <laughs> overlord. That's not how this works. <laughs> have you met my husband? I have. <laughs> and apparently Green Squad thinks that Mike can't last nope. in a zombie apocalypse. I mean, it's the Green Squad. They're going to be like, oh, Mike dies? Yeah, we want him to die. Thanks, Green Squad. He would become <laughs> the living leader of the zombies. It'd be a thing. It'd be a thing. Huh? Uh, Mike. Just be, yeah, I can charm the crap out of a zombie. Just watch, you'll see. Uh, true or false, they said true to this, Tifa, that you think you can beat me in an omelet cook-off. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. because I wouldn't put too much salt. Oh, wow. wow. I'm yes. done. Yes. Even voting true wow. on that one. Wow. Wow. So All let's right. explain the backstory right. for this well, one. Well, we got a point for that. Uh, so in the preseason, tell them about your shame. In Mike. the preseason, the final score was Purple Squad Green Squad six to six, and we had to do a last minute omelet cook off. Oh, no. Ted made scrambled eggs. I made the most glorious looking omelet. However, I oversalted it and lost because there was too much salt. And he has a tendency to do this. And, I, and Tifa did say, I, I, I went home and I said, Tifa, I lost because I made an omelet. And the first words out of our mouth were, did you put too much salt in it? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, actually, That's yeah. exactly what happened. That's exactly and, uh, what happened. Production, if you could say that one more time. Oh, we're talking about the one month sub, oh, which we, we, we acknowledge the one month sub. Oh, thank right. you there, production. You winning that omelet. Oh, thank you. With scrambled, with scrambled eggs. eggs. Yeah. They were good scrambled eggs. My scrambled eggs are They delicious. were. They were super fluffy. <laughs> All right. So, fluffiness isn't the best part. So, here we go. Uh, Green Squad has voted true on this. Kaylee prefers a window seat on airplanes over the aisle seat. Is that true or false? False. You prefer an aisle seat. Yes. Why? So you could get out easier, right? Yes, because there's always people sleeping. Mm -hmm. And if I'm in the window, <laughs> and I don't want to be like, wake up, wake up. Exactly. And I don't want to just climb over them because then they're going to wonder why there's some random person climbing over them and straddling mm -hmm. them and like wonder <laughs> why oh, I didn't wake them up. No. And so, <laughs> so yes, I prefer the aisle. I am right there with I, you that's, because. It's totally valid. It's like, why would you even want to look out that window? It's all cramped and like. Well, and Sticking the problem is like when that. you fly with someone who always falls asleep on an airplane and then decides after you're nice and comfortable that they need to get up to go pee oh, yeah. and have to move you mm -hmm. constantly. See, no, no, I don't wait, want to hear. I We're prefer done. the window because I'm the one sleeping. Yeah. Whatever. So then I'm just uh, asleep on the window. The, the shaitan talking about the omelet says, saw oh. that burn coming from a mile away, still so worth it. Thanks, the shaitan. <laughs> purple Squad doesn't even support Purple Squad. I know. That's great. They know because they know what happened. Uh, Kaylee, true, they voted true on this. You you think Tom Colaccio is a better chef than Gordon Ramsay? Is that true or false? False. Yeah, it's false. We got that one incorrect. Also, the scores are kind of messed up here. I think we're still two are to they? two. What are we? Are we two we're to two, two to two? two. Uh, why, why? Why do you think? Who's Tom Colaccio? Um. <laughs> okay. I'm glad I'm not the only one. I think this is hilarious. I don't know either. That's why I said Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't Even know. Better. I didn't know who the other person was. Even better. That so, is amazing. I'm glad you said it. Yeah, so I okay. Just I'm agree glad. With it. Well, I'm sorry, Tom, if you're watching. If yeah, you're, yeah, sorry, we know, Tom. You know, sorry. We would have loved to have had you on the show, but nobody knows who you are. We apologize. <laughs> this is a Hollywood show. This is a Hollywood so who are you, really? Hollywood. Like, Tom, step uh, up your game. We want to say uh, thank you to the five bits from Hard Luck Hero. We appreciate that. Thanks, buddy. So, Green Squad voted true here. Now, Tifa. Tifa has eaten at a restaurant owned by Tom Colaccio. Oh, no. <laughs> Colicchio is what it says, or Gordon Ramsay. Uh, I have a Gordon Ramsay restaurant. All right, that is true. On our five-year anniversary, That's we actually right. went. Aww. Who's 
who's Tom Calicchio? <laughs> is, what I, is what I had in my ear there. Uh, production team let me know it's pronounced yeah, Calicchio. Know. I still don't know who that is. Well, there you go. Uh, like why don't you, why don't you talk, talk about the restaurant we went to? Yeah, so we went to Hell's Kitchen in Vegas. Ooh. Um, for our five year wedding anniversary, I had never been to Vegas, and the first night we got there, we went to Tom. Uh, <laughs> Tom Colaccio. Tom Colaccio. To the Gordon Ramsay kitchen. Um, Mike was sad that it wasn't more like the actual show, but I thought it was incredible. <laughs> so here's the thing, is you expect the show, the show is divided, the, the kitchen is amazing, the kitchen looks uh -huh. like it does on the show, but it's just a straight restaurant, you can eat some food from the show. Right. I was expecting a Hell's Kitchen experience, which I get they can't do, right. because then you would have to do like two hour blocks of time, as opposed to just cycling folks through there. But sure. it was an amazing restaurant, well, the, the food, food was great. The food was amazing, holy crap. We were Holy supposed crap. to split the uh, risotto and I ate all of it. She ate all the risotto, and it's, cause, and it's and that's the things you see on the show. So it was, I got the Wellington, we got the risotto that's on the show, we got the scallops from the show, oh my God. and they was, yes. it was amazing. It was so All right, they also voted true on this, that uh, Tifa, you were to vote for, uh, if you were to cook for Tom or Gordon, you would rather make steak and potatoes than enchiladas. That is true. All right, we got that one right. Although I don't feel like I would make either dish very well. <laughs> <laughs> what, are you saying that you would be worried to cook for, for well-known superstar chef Tom Colaccio? <laughs> <laughs> so I just don't cook. I don't. <laughs> I got it. Got it. That's great. That's great. I don't cook Tom. meat, and I've never cooked enchiladas. So like, I would just be in the dark. <laughs> just be in the dark. Uh, Debauchery says that Tom Calaccio, Calaccio is a Top Chef judge who owns the Gramercy Tavern. Oh my gosh. So that's. So, we so I don't know what Gramercy here. Tavern is either. I know. So <laughs> there we go. It's great. Uh, Green Squad <laughs> voted true on this. In the past year, Keely has eaten more eggs than tater tots. Is that true or false? More eggs than tater tots? Yep. Very true. Very true. I dig that. Very, very there true. There we go. Very true. So, yes. <laughs> you don't eat a lot of tater tots? You said you like carbs. I do love carbs, yes. But, but not in the tater tot form. No, because uh, every time I'm somewhere with the wonderful Anjali that you guys are going to meet, yes. we eat eggs constantly. Ooh, okay. So, like and you're eating eggs right now. Well, right yes, second. actually they're right underneath here. <laughs> <laughs> and she cooked them and they're them. wonderful. Um, <laughs> no, yeah, so eggs, definitely. Ooh, all right. No, I'm, uh, I'm more of a French fry guy myself. Mm. Uh, Frag Hatter in the chat says, it's sh that risotto is just saucy rice, yo. <laughs> And then Mar marinara sauce says, I am saucy rice. Oh, <laughs> wonderful. Ooh. It's just saucy rice? What is saucy rice? <laughs> Risotto. It's just saucy rice. But it's delicious and there's lobster. That's around. a good way to describe it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they would a true on this, Kaylee. You go to the beach fewer than seven times per year. Is that true or false? I don't want to admit to this because I'm from LA, but yes. I is go, it true? Yeah. yeah. Is, is it because you're less. traveling so much? Is it because, you can be honest, right? This is safe space. Okay, yes, yeah, Is it because Anjali like drags you to like convention after convention and doesn't and let you? Like it is that. so like hard is it really? to be able to go to I'm these sorry. wonderful things. No, it's I mean, so hard. It's it really is bad. I'd rather be at the beach. I know. But yeah, I, know. Um, I feel you on that. Why don't maybe you guys can get in your bathing suits or something I, and make I, it feel I, like we're at the beach? We can. We'll make yeah? that happen. Okay. I think I'd get right. banned if I did what I was. <laughs> no, you covered as long as your nipples are covered, we're fine. Well, I can turn this Oh, fine as long as it's not female presenting nipples. There you go. Is that what it is? That's the that's the tumbler. Yeah, that was the tumbler. Nice. Jeez, that was. That That's was good. good call back there, yeah, Tifa. Good job. Cool. Look at that. <laughs> All right. What's up, chat? What's up? How are you guys Jeez. doing? How are you guys doing? <laughs> um, no, you don't go to the beach because the traffic is too bad in LA to get there. You leave, and then two hours later, you're actually at the beach. That's traffic what... is awful. They always say if you're in LA, it's 20 minutes to get everywhere, but it's really not. No, it's, like it's not. Two hours yeah. and 20 yeah. minutes oh, it's to get terrible. everywhere. We yeah. we had dinner reservations. My family lives 30 miles east of Hollywood, okay. and uh, we had dinner reservations at I think like seven. And she was like, "What time do we have to leave?" I was like, three o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, is totally right. that is totally See? right. See, <laughs> all right, so go ahead. Go ahead. So, <laughs> Green Squad voted true on this. If Tifa played 18 holes of golf today. <clears throat> She estimates she would lose at least a dozen golf balls. My actual answer was all of them. <laughs> all of them. <laughs> all, of them. Golf balls. all of them. So that's yes. That is another point for us there. Thank you, Green Squad, for uh, voting correct on that one. Now, <laughs> you're a golfer. I don't sport. You're not a golfer. I don't sport. I don't sport. <laughs> Just any sports. sports. Just, if it's a sport, I don't. You don't do you it. Don't do I it. Don't participate. You're not a sports sport no. lady. What about no. esports? Even esports is kind of too sports for me. <laughs> all right. Casual. Casual. A filthy casual, as we call that. Casual. There we go. All right. Uh, speaking of, of you being sportsy, uh, they voted true on this. And this is the last question. So we need to get this one right to end in a tie and mess with production some more. Uh, you would rather have 40 arcade games in your garage than a Porsche. 
Is that true or false? What do you think? Oh, I think that's 100% true. It's 100% true. Yeah. Now, if it was, uh, what's the what's the car you like? Is it the Ferrari? You know, the Mustang. If it was a Mustang. Oh, that's not even it's not a car, Mustang. Like. What's the car? Corvette. The Corvette. I said C3. Corvette. <laughs> the C3 Corvette. I said that. So you'd rather have 40, 40 arcade games? Yeah. Well, Which also, one? I don't like driving. That's so, true. like. Can you name all 40 arcade I'm just kidding. We don't have time. Oh, my God. <laughs> name. Which games imagine? right now? <laughs> Prove your, no Googling. Prove you're a girl gamer. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> She's ready. She's just ready kidding. to name she all Mortal Kombat. Oh my god, so stop. All of them. All of them. <laughs> so <laughs> done. All right, that, so that's this, a tie. Yeah, Ooh, this, this is round in the tie. So that means that I think both chefs should get to pick a knife of their choice. I agree. I think we should push the. Uh, we just had we production just, talking in our ear, and you and I just did that glitching that thing, thing that we do where we're just like, production, they're talking in our ear, we have to be quiet now. Uh, All right, so judges, production has said that they want to see the two chefs do rock, paper, scissors for knives. We oh. said we want to keep this friendly and let them choose their knife. We're going to leave this up to the judges to decide, since you guys will be the ones eating the food. Knife fight? Knife, knife fight. fight. Knife fight. Oh, for the knife okay. Fight. You know what? Hang on. Production has said, "Wow, so Jesus, Chief." Right. We've, we've been corrected. Go ahead. Here's Ted. my thought on this. Okay. Let's push the going first to the second round as well. Okay, that sounds great. We we'll do that's that as easy well. Easy enough. Uh, you guys, chefs, you guys have got to select your knife for going first. We'll figure it out in the second round. Uh, judges, thank you so much. We will thank check you. in with you guys in the next show. Squad says served. Go ahead and awesome. take away over thank there. Let's you. get our judge. Let's get our chefs for the day over here. Let's meet chefs. Uh, Derek and Chef Anjali, come on yeah, over. You can, yeah, fine. you can. Awesome. Anjali can sit right over there next right to me. Yes. Yep. Derek can just sit over there. Okay. Yeah, everything's fine. Everything's fine. fine. Everything's fine. fine. Everything's fine. Okay. Everything's fine. We We're haven't good. even gotten to the hard part yet. Now we're already. We're gonna be okay. We're gonna be <laughs> have to right. nervously go to the bathroom. Um, are you right? Yeah. Right. All right. Now, folks, if you are currently on the front page right now, please do go ahead and click through here and uh, hit the follow button as well as join a squad here so that you can uh, help whatever squad you've decided to join. All right, what's happening here? She's telling them she's telling them which squad to join. And you'll be able to participate in uh, voting <laughs> with your squad there. So please do go ahead and click through if you're watching us on the front page and hit that follow <laughs> button for us. All uh, right. So judges or judges, chefs, I would like to inform you guys that what happens in this round is the winner of this round gets the oven, a baking sheet, mm -hmm. And you get to choose your topic for the speed round, which will happen after this. And, and the top, starting first. And you'll get to start first. The speed round topics for this episode today are music and pop culture. Oof. So go, <laughs> what, was, what was that? <laughs> this is pain. It's pain <laughs> right there. I have, I have been on Broadway. I have done opera. I have never been as nervous as I am right now. <laughs> This is, this you is, are, she said it would be fun, she said. This, You're part of pop culture, this should be bad. Yeah. No. They're all Overwatch and Fallout oh 4 God questions. Oh God help us all. <laughs> God help us all. Uh, I'm gonna the be other kicked thing. off the payload. <laughs> 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 Just kicked right off it. There, there you like, go. Uh, we also want to inform you guys, what's going to happen right now is squads, you are going to answer questions only for your chef. So green squad, you're going to answer questions only about Derek. Purple squad, you're going to answer questions only about Anjali. Uh, with, <laughs> Best concept ever seems good. Uh, Marinara sauce says she said it'd be so fun. Yeah, LMAO. yeah. Uh, for the folks at home who may not know who either of you are, <laughs> let's go ahead and introduce yourself. Tell the folks uh, what you do, where you're from, where they can find you on the social sure. media. Sure, um, I'm Anjali Bamani. I am an actress, singer, dancer, uh, climber of things. I uh, I do television. I do games. Some of you know me as the voice of Symmetra in Overwatch, but I'm also uh, Nina Patel on Modern Family and Joya on Alex Inc. and pretty much every disapproving Indian mother uh, on the <laughs> um, Like every other disapproving Indian mother. Like, oh, uh, we, man. We, we tend to like we tend to share them among a among a, a, a tight group of, of brown women. Um, and then uh, and also like. Maybe like a third of the Indian female doctors you see on TV. <laughs> that's my lane. That's my lane. So, oh my so come join me in either the ER or in your worst nightmare, one or the other, on television. Oh, Hollywood and then I'm also, out. I'm also so excited. I am also, um, I'm so excited to share this because I love this show so much. I'm doing a show uh, with Geek and Sundry on ProjectAlpha.com. And Ooh. it is called We're Alive Frontier. And it is a live action RPG uh, set in the zombie apocalypse. Speaking of the zombie apocalypse, that Ooh. seems to come up a lot around here. Um, and so it's, uh, it's essentially long form improv, only instead of being on a stage and having the audience say, you're in a laundromat shooting a porno or something, you're actually getting your <laughs> suggestions from the dice and the GM and everyone. 
And um, the particular conceit of this game, unlike D&D, where you can heal and you can do potions and all that, in this game, you die, you die, because you're humans, and if you get infected, you're off the show. So it's a really, really fantastic show. You can see it on projectalpha.com. If you don't have projectalpha.com, you can use the code INFECTED to get Ooh. 60 days of all the free content on Project Alpha. So you can binge the first days. season. You can binge the first season. You can watch where we are up until the second season, and then catch up and still have time to watch more stuff. So uh, that show makes me incredibly happy. It's one of my favorite things I've ever done until now. in my whole career. Until this, possibly, show. until this show. Possibly until this show, depending on how well it goes. I am I'm completely prepared not to survive this experience. Great. Uh, You'll be fine. Fry Hatter in the chat said, we love you, Anjali. Oh, Raymond God, Glomgold you. says, you. you got this in all thank, caps. Thank He's you yelling all. at us. Success through lowered expectations is one of my life mottos, so let's <laughs> stick with that one. All right. Chef Derek. Uh, hey, I'm a touring stand-up comedian. Uh, I tour regularly with Brian Posehn uh, from Ooh. Nerd Poker. Um, I've got three albums on stand-up comedy records with Disasturbation, Holy Drivel, uh, Tiny Idiot. Um, <laughs> Those are amazing titles, I, by the way. Is that one about me? Oh my god, <laughs> you guys, no, no, so I, rude. It's Tiny Idiot <laughs> would be me because last year I fell off a toilet and dislocated my knee. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> Damn, that is just, something I would do. Because that toilet was just a little bit too tall for baby legs, <laughs> and I fell off and slipped on my own urine. Uh, oh, my God. Wow. Yeah, fun times, yes. being short, being tiny. Uh, my claim to, I have no claim to fame. Like, last year I was on uh, I was on CISO for five minutes before that. The whole network got canceled. Oh, so, yeah. Good. But, so I, CISO. but I did get to wheel out in the middle of Brian Posehn's special naked while I jerked off two dildos. Uh, so, <laughs> bummer that CISO's not around anymore. Wow. <laughs> it was a family show. Yeah. It's not anymore. Are you looking for representation? We have a manager here that's... Fantastic. <laughs> yeah, you definitely want to pick me up if there's anybody looking for a... For a dwarf who can jerk off two dildos. <laughs> uh, oh my god. So I'm oh, available for that. I'm available oh. for that. <laughs> we thought it was a wholesome show, and then we turned it on, and it was talking about. Great. <laughs> We're speaking. If, we, so, if there's more we need to know from you, Well, let's... here's the thing. They said you could swear, but they, that's not even swearing. That's, that's, that's true. No, that's, that's, that's true. That's true. <laughs> the word dildo is not Ted anywhere. Ted, some control. Yeah. So Green Squad <laughs> has voted true on this, Derek. They say Derek has been to the library in the past three years. Is that true or false? That is true. That's awesome. True. I've been to the library, yes. <laughs> that was a very like, that was like, it's true. that was another one of those questions. Does Derek like food? Yeah. Like yeah. it was just like an easy, easy, <laughs> quick one for us. Well, a lot of people don't go to the library anymore because they have their Kindles and yeah. all of that stuff. So that's not necessarily a gimme. That was legit question. Would you I, but I didn't go to the library for books. I went to go pick up tax forms. So <laughs> That's another valid. Do you not have a printer totally at home valid. and so you went there to yeah. print it out? Yeah, I didn't want to. Makes yeah. sense. Uh, I, do you have a, I don't have a printer at home, do you? Yes. You do? Of course. That's print good. out tax forms. <laughs> Why? Oh, that's, it. that's the only reason I got a printer. There you, for the uh, there you go. Oh, look at that. Frank Hatter says, Anjali, you look so pretty today. Uh, thank you. It's all going downhill from here. No. <laughs> they, but speaking of which, uh, speaking of going downhill, uh, the, oh, oh. the chat is what are true on this. You have more than two siblings. Is that true or false? Me? Yeah. Oh, that's false. That's false. I always got that one wrong. Uh, Debosh said, this is a Twitch uh, trick question. How many siblings do you have? Question. I have one sibling. Okay. Um, it is my older brother, Anish, who is perfect and awesome, and I love him more than I can possibly tell you, and I'm going to start crying just because I'm talking about him. Um, tell us about him. Well, he is... Get you crying. He's, no, don't get me crying. There's not enough waterproof mascara in the world <laughs> for that. Um, he is... Uh, He's smart and he's funny and he's handsome and he's a great father and he's a great husband and not to me obviously and uh, I have my own I have my own but he's just he's been the, he's been the best brother like since the beginning of time and he gave me the greatest piece of advice that I have ever been given in my entire life and it was uh, in eighth grade when I was trying to basically do everything that he did because he was the coolest person in the world to me and he said listen you are good at some things I will never be good at and I am good at some things that you aren't really interested in you don't have have to do all the things that I do. You you need to cultivate the things that you do great because that's going to make you happy and great in your life. So follow those things and don't worry about what I'm doing. You're going to be amazing. And it's probably because of him. It's one big thing that tipped me towards being an actress. Wow, that's some great advice. We, he we is drop legit. in truth. He we drop is truth legit. Here on this show. Yo, he's awesome. He's the best. Well, and speaking right. of great advice here, <laughs> Green Squad has voted false on this. It says, <clears throat> caught in a home fire, the one non living thing Derek would grab on his way out is his phone. True or false? 
False. False. What would you grab? Non-living. Non-living thing would be my original VHS copies of Star Wars, Empire, and Jedi that have been totally <laughs> Wow. So you, by would, Lucas, you so. would not take your, your link to like humanity and potential disaster with no, you? No, if my wife's with me, that's all I need. Like that's she's true. my link Aww. to everything. Aww. I, have Aww. Aww. I I still like you can't get the un. <laughs> Fuckered versions of those movies <laughs> anywhere, so I would. That's a technical term, everyone. Yeah. You don't want to grab In the dildos for a next that. show. Oh, no, that, no, 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 enough with those. Those came back with me on the plane. I stuffed <laughs> oh, them no. in my bag just for fun. And, uh, <laughs> no, just for it fun. Was, it was and guess so what? Curious. TSA did decide to pull out and try to embarrass me with, and I'm like, have oh, fun. You're no. the guys with two giant dildos. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? Oh my God! Uh, Raymond Glomgold is awesome advice from your brother, yeah. Frank Hatter. This is so pure. Until and then, that. Until that. <laughs> I'm the ruiner of moments. I mean, no, I love, no, you are I, the creator of I'm, moments. You know what though? Like, I feel you on that though. For the uh, like the star. Have you, ever, have you ever seen the uh, Star Wars despecialized like torrents that went out? Yes. And the, those are amazing. Oh, it was so good. Oh so my God! Good. And they're also in shot in much better definition. Yeah, than they the are. Prints that they're I have. Crazy. Mike, you're a vote behind right now, by the way. Am I? Yep. I thought we, oh, they voted. <laughs> I didn't realize. I thought. All right. Well, he's voted true on this. Anjali, you would rather uh, you would rather every day be 75 degrees and cloudy than 40 degrees and sunny. See, I'm I'm worried that people are gonna get this wrong because they know how much I love being warm. But I would have to say 40 degrees and sunny. I guess we're well, down is, two right now. Here is why, and I, and I just have to be honest. Like I couldn't have lied, but I won't. Um, because you can always like be inside with a space heater, but still see the sun, I couldn't live without the sun. I'm a heliotrope. Like, I, I bend towards the sun, so <laughs> like a I... Yes, exactly. Like, Photosynthesize. Uh, so I, I, so I, I, I apologize, Purple Squad, for for. No, do you know that's right? Wrong. We're two down. Let's get the next. We're gonna okay. catch up with these questions here. We can do this, Purple Squad. Ted. All right. Uh, they voted false on this one, Green Squad. Here, they're saying Derek can name three characters in Overwatch. Can you name three characters in Overwatch? No. False. All right. Well, there we go. That was good enough. Perfect. False. Yay! That's oh fun. no, so that's true. <clears throat> All right. Oh, boo. Or no, it is false. It is no, false. That's true. You got the point. Yeah. Heck yeah, good job. Thank you. I'm glad you don't know video games. I mean, I do, but not Overwatch. That's really? Why don't you know Overwatch? Because there it's are like, other games. Because they're squad based games. I don't like to play a lot online because I'm 49 and I got called <laughs> a lot of names and I'm done. No, I don't get it. You know, I play single player games. Yeah, campaign well, only. I hear, yeah, that's why I play Fallout 76 by myself. Yeah, I'm not, this isn't you know. Fallout 4. If you yeah. played Overwatch with me, I would not call you names at all. Not just because I'm a nice person and I don't like calling people names for playing games, but also because I don't have enough skill at playing the game to speak. Speak and play at the same time. <laughs> so I am, I am like on a scale of one to ten. I'm like a negative seven. Well, we, yeah, we so that's, we'll all so squat. We we'll all squat up. up. But you and T are gonna have to fight over Reinhardt. Oh, also, Reinhardt, Reinhardt, Reinhardt! I love him so much. <laughs> Tifa, that's that's Tifa's main right I just there. love him because Darren DePaul's <clears throat> voice is pure joy. <laughs> they voted true on this. The squad. Uh, speaking of pure joy, on a free afternoon, you would choose a modern art museum over a minor league baseball game. One hundred percent true. We got a point. Ooh, we, we, got got we, got, we got eight like, points. Modern art museums are wonderful fodder for comedy as well, because a lot of times when you're there and you really don't understand something, the things that pop into your head, I can oh. I can make myself laugh uh, just looking looking at. Fun Seattle stuff. has some beautiful modern art museums. Have I'm you visited sure them? It does. I have not because I've been here for like 12 hours. Is this your so, first time in Seattle? No, or it is not. Okay. It's not my first time. But I mean, I thought you meant on this trip. I mean, on this trip, I know you're here quickly. You can no. you can just delay the trip. You stay at that nice hotel you're talking I about. The know, Christmassy. I know. I would love low. to, but you know, my manager like cracks the whip. Ooh. This is, this is, so this is a safe space. Here. Is she the worst? <laughs> I got is she the worst? Is she no, but she's the best manager, which is like the worst. She like, she keeps me busy. She like drag you around these things, you know? She like, I mean, she said it would be fun, she said! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you guys! Um, no, I, she's, she's freaking awesome. Um, but I do have to go back, so I can't, uh, I can no longer, I have Next to go back. Time. I have to go back and make more fun things for you guys to watch. Oh, right. And before we go ahead and uh, go with the next answer there that Green Squad has given us, we do want to remind you, if you're on the front page, please do click through to get to our page here. You'll be able to join a squad. You'll be able to help out whichever chef you would like to help here, Green Squad, hopefully. And uh, you will uh, <laughs> hopefully also follow us as well. Please do consider following as you can get updates in the future and uh, join us Perfect. for future broadcasts Tuesday yeah, through perfect. Saturday, 1 o'clock to 4 o'clock every day. So uh, they voted true on this one. So Derek would rather have dinner with Bill Hicks than Mitch Hedberg. Is that true or false? Absolutely true. Wow, okay, really? true. Hicks. Hicks all the way, yeah. Have you met I, Bill Hicks? I, I I saw Bill Hicks, I never met Bill Hicks. Okay. I saw him live in when I was 16, I think, 16 or 17. Okay. 
Uh, I've seen Hedberg as well, but I, I mean, I, I like them both. But Hicks was, I think, would be a much more fun dinner date. I think Mitch would probably be zonked out on painkillers. No, of course. Oh, no, no. Yeah, that's, uh, that's fair. Uh, also, also, nowadays, there's something that Hicks has over Hedberg, the fact that Hicks is still around. No, yes. no he's not. Oh, is he not? No. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh. Yeah, they're, both, they're both fast. dead? Yeah. That sucks. Yeah. Well, well, there you go. See, I'm, I'm not a Bill Hicks fan, so I don't know. We got dark. We can, we can get darker. No, don't. We sure. Well, we're about to. Uh, they said we false to this. <laughs> yeah. If you can choose to become any animal, you would be a tiger. Is that true or false? Oh, that's false. That's false. That's right, suckers. You know, I would be a dog. <laughs> Who doesn't want to be a dog? It's the greatest life ever. People, people pet you, and someone else feeds you, and someone else takes care of you, and you get to sleep all day, and then you get to make people happy, and you get to scamper. I mean, come on. You eat the same thing for like a month at a time for every meal. Say that again. You see, you eat the same thing every time for like not a month. Not if you're my dog. Oh, oh do you, do you cook for your dog? Be, I may not be a good cook for humans, but I am an excellent cook for my dog. <laughs> I'm sure the judges loved am, hearing that. Yeah, right an extraordinary. <laughs> I am fantastic. I think the last meal that I, my my little dog had before I left was um, a, a raw beef patty with uh, turmeric and ginger bone broth. Wow. Uh, what? Uh, yes, wow. and uh, salmon oil Ooh. for his uh, for Skin. his important. Uh, fish oil for his omega threes and his omega sixes, and uh, and some digestive enzymes, and um, all sorts of delicious, <laughs> tasty treats. Um, so yes, I am a fantastic canine chef. Awesome! Wow! All fantastic right. Fantastic <clears throat> chef. Sorry, guys. Mm. Sorry. <laughs> Don't Good luck. Me. Good luck, judges. <laughs> yeah. So uh, uh, <laughs> Green Squad voted two on this one here. Uh, Derek would rather, or Derek would be a better carpenter than an accountant. That true or false? True, you you true. <laughs> I'd be a much better carpenter than an accountant. All I, right. I don't do math. I'm mathematically illiterate. I, I didn't. I stopped taking math in elementary school. They yeah, didn't but ask me to. you could do you could do accounting. It's just one plus one equals two dollars. Oh, there no, we go. It's not. That's I've that's how accounting works. I could be an accountant. Type things into a spreadsheet. Formulas yeah, pop out the other end. Uh, so Purple Squad, you guys are doing fantastic right now. We are up 132 points to five. <laughs> I don't uh, know that's so. what they're actually Damn. seeing no, on their no, I don't screen. Think so. That's just this what is we see. We just, that's good. We just want to see it. Oh. All right, we're, we're not supposed to do that. We're just kidding, guys. We're just messing around. Uh, they voted false on this, and Danny Two Steps says, "Get it together, Purple Squad." Uh, <laughs> Anjali would rather butcher a goat than ride. A bicycle from Seattle to LA. No, that's not right. a so bicycle. False. For uh, false. Sake. We got that one right. That's right. We're catching up. That's the worst question ever. Well, I know. I can't, okay, look. and then uh, true story. I don't even really know how to ride a bike, but I would rather ride a bike poorly from Seattle to Los Angeles. I know Angeles. the questions, right? Look, look, this is a safe space here. Is Steve like the questions are a little too much? <laughs> right? I just that, that question does concern me a little bit for someone. Someone's mindset. Someone. Who's about to? You're, uh, what, just think. wait until you see the ingredients today. Oh God! Oh no! There I didn't even not, look at what they were. Better not be a goat nut ingredient. It's, well, here's it's the here's the nice part. Is it's still alive? It's a live goat, why? but you both why, get to share it. It's actually goat this bladder. Goat yeah. bladder is, is the <laughs> featured ingredient for today. It's not true. Did we enter the zombie worry. apocalypse? Did we already get there? We are yeah. there. Yeah. Surprise! Yeah, no, I totally ride that bike. That's Surprise! Great workout. The three hours you're in here, the zombie apocalypse is going on out there. Excellent. Well, we're safe. Green Squad has voted true on this one. Derek, if any, uh, if Derek could visit any of the three others, let me get this one. Hold on. <laughs> <clears throat> Thank you. If Derek could visit any three of the other six continents for a week each, he'd include Australia. And Green Squad voted true. True, yeah, absolutely. True, all right. Yeah. So <clears throat> dope. when it says visit any three of the other six, does that mean that you visited three already? And no, oh no, I've only been to North America, my <laughs> so friend. So what happened to wow. the other five? Like, wh you know. wait a minute, why did, why was it three out of the other six? That's a weird question, but I'm glad you include Australia in there. Yeah, I would go to Australia, why not? How come you've only been to North America? Uh, I, because Canada's included in North America, I've never, I mean, I've really not actually been anywhere else. I'm a oh, comedian, yeah, yeah. we don't make that kind of money. <laughs> Canada. Let me teach you about this beautiful thing called credit cards with frequent flyer miles. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, I, but the problem is I spend all my air miles going to places like Peoria, Illinois no, for a weekend. No, or no, Erie, no, Pennsylvania. Ooh, 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 that's fantastic. Proper. All right, uh, Purple Squad is voted false on this. Team False is back. Uh, Anjali, <laughs> your favorite Mexican meal is a burrito. That is incorrect. That's false. All right, that means we got that one right. Yay! We're catching up. They say, are burritos even Mexican? They are. They were invented in Juarez. See, there you go. Look at well, that. Well, look at that. Look at that. that it's because we're Mexican. Sure. I did not know that. What is we your point I, for that, right? I, I, I think, unless I'm missing something in my catalog of Mexican food in my head, that my favorite are tamales. 
Oh, yeah. And they're like little presents. They're like little <laughs> presents wrapped in occasionally sweet corn, but not at least corn. They're like little. They're like little wrapped. You get to open it, and you get to, it's fun. You like the sweet or the it's savory? An experience. Um, probably the savory, like the savory mm. insides. Um, yeah. But if it was like sweet corn on the outside and then savory chicken on the inside, I'd be into that. Nice. I've totally been. I could do that. King James says, "I knew it." Yes, you were right. Let me tell King you, King James. Nothing beats elotes. Oh man. Oh, yeah, oh, those are so yeah. good. I had to bring it up. It's a show I had to bring good. it up. Oof. For those of you so wondering, good. that is corn that has like, like a Mexican uh, mayo on there, oh, some yeah. spices. Yep. Uh, it's just but it's, it's roasted present. corn. No, but it's like delicious. You can, you can wrap it in foil and you can, like, eat it. But the tamale is like, it, you don't know what's inside it. So you can is it, is it your guys? Yeah, yeah, it is ours. It is ours. We just lost control of the show. As Green Squad had voted true on this one, or false on this one. Uh, Derek thinks that he could beat Jordan one on one at basketball today if Jordan's left foot was glued to his butt. What? What? <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> false. <laughs> He's still Michael Jordan. I'm you voted four true foot on this three. one. So no, I voted. I didn't think I could beat him at one on one basketball. Maybe the question I, was worded weirdly. Yeah, maybe. Okay, it was so weird, we'll so. give ourselves the point there for that. What? One. Really? Oh, oh okay. we got from so. production that he is right and that production screwed up. So, uh, so you, guys no at, you guys are at seven. All right, so even Ooh. if we get the next two right, we will not We're, be able to win this round. Ooh, that's but a that's lot of good okay. stuff for that's us there, That's a lot of stuff to start painful. out with. But you will get to choose your knife of choice. They voted true on this. You would rather play the lead in a, <laughs> in a biographical film of Aretha Franklin than Marilyn Monroe. Oh, 100% true. So, right, so oh, we did wow. get that one right. I already sing Aretha's songs in karaoke. Do you? So I'm totally into that. And I couldn't, I don't know that I could pull off Marilyn. What's your, what's your go to karaoke? Karaoke jam. I never loved a man. Ooh. Oh. That's oh, look. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Someone okay. just got really excited <laughs> over there. Yeah, I, yeah, pro yeah, yeah. I proposed at karaoke, that's, so karaoke is kind of a big deal for oh, the two of us. Oh, so. well played, young yeah. man. You know, well played. Do what, that's do what a, that's I do. a good move. It's a good story. I'll tell you um, about later. Yeah, in fact, I think it, recently at a convention I did karaoke where I, I serenaded a bunch of people and rolled around on the floor a bit. It was exciting. It was good times. Uh, and that's the end of that story. <laughs> Good story. The Green Squad has voted false on this. Derek's father worked for the mob. True. It's true. What? Oh. You can't say that. We're all going to die now. They're all dead now. That is not true. The no. mob is still around. They're coming right? after us now. Yeah. Look what's yeah. happening. The mob is still well, around. They're all, they're all different factions. Yeah. The mob my dad worked for is all dead. No. Oh, <laughs> good. All right. So that, that, there's nothing, nothing so you can, secret. Yeah, so, way. so he works for a mob. Yeah. Maybe I not say we mob. Like, what does that go. say about that particular mob that they didn't make? It? Like, <laughs> Most of them didn't survive the you night. You know what? Yeah, okay. You never know. Like, there's that one guy who can come from the below It's now. Johnny Tight Lips. I was going to say, no, it's the son. What's going to happen? Hiding. Derek is part but of the comedian mob. I didn't mention who it was. That's so true. We won't Fair talk point. about who it was. Fair point. Let's not do that. We can't wait to hear these stories. <laughs> they're all good. Get all the, all the, time what, all the mobs are good? Yep. They're the all great. The stories are good. The, no, the oh, stories, of course, that's what that's I meant. That's what he means. Yeah. <laughs> no, the, the mobs are all good. <laughs> the mobs done <laughs> some please, good things. Please, yeah. Oh, please don't kill guys. us. Uh, they voted true on this, even though it doesn't matter if we get this right or wrong. Uh, Anjali, you would rather play the lead alongside uh, Leo DiCaprio over Jamie Foxx. You guys said true? They said true. <sighs> That's all right. Well, clearly that's uh, you. I you. Would, no, no, no. This was a really, really, really <laughs> tough one to answer. Um, and I love Leo, and I think he's incredibly talented, and I would love to do a movie with him anytime. Please call me. But um, and I love what he's doing with climate change and all all sorts of stuff. But um, Jamie Foxx, that would be so much fun. Like the amount of fun that that we would likely have. On that set, uh, he gets like into his roles. Like it's, yeah, he gets, I still he gets think, well, intense. so does Leo. Yeah. So between the two, like, I mean, I don't know. Do I want to be in like what was that, The Revenant? No, I don't yeah. want to. I don't feel like <laughs> playing a lead alongside. Like, I, I, it depends ja on the movie. Would you rather be really? in The Revenant or Django Unchained? Oh, Django in a heartbeat! <laughs> wow. Are you kidding? That was a good movie. That was a great movie, <laughs> yeah. and and I suspect that there were many laughs had amidst the gore. But, <laughs> right. Yeah. But um, well. I still love you, Purple Squad. It's just that I it's have okay. I, I have an, I'm an unexpected person. That is I have true. Unexpected answers. <laughs> there you go. You'll never know everything about me. Well. So with that in mind, let's let's recap. We get a knife. Yay! But Yay. you get to choose the knife you want. Okay. So that get, means you guys get. Let's read off all the things that we get today oh due to Green it's Squad. All right. It's all right. Kicking butt, as we normally do. We got to pick our knife. We get to go first in served, which means we get an extra one minute. We get the oven, a baking sheet, and you get to choose a trivia topic today oh. that you get to, that you want. So 
Let's go ahead and get ready for the speed round. Uh, Anjali, if you want to move your chair over to that right side there. there. Derek, you're going to stay here on this side. Oh, and but look. I'm going to go. What's over here? Oh, look at that. That's like, coming back that. onto my side today. Look at that. This is belt. <laughs> Don't that belt is coming back from over to this side. Win. I love you. Someone tell right my mom there, I love you. Right there, Purple her. Squad. <laughs> I'll, I, I'll see her in heaven. Um, okay. Okay. Just, so, I just want to just want to get used to this I, image right here, Anjali. I'm not paying attention to you. You know what? Just this is going to happen. It does look really good on me. I'm not paying attention to you. No, uh, not, so with that belt. Sit not with right that here? belt. Right over there. Yeah. So Let's let me talk explain about how this round works. This is going to be a speed round. Squads, on your screen, you are going to see a number one through six. That's going to correspond to how many questions you think your, I can't let you see that, you think <laughs> your uh, chef will actually get right in this trivia speed round. Now, each one of those questions is going to correspond to the amount of starting items that they will get. So if they get one question right, it's a spatula. Two questions right, medium pan. Three questions, rear burner. Four questions right, any spice. Five questions, a medium bowl. And six questions right, they will get to ignore a sabotage that the other that is, uh, squad picks. That is, is huge. Yeah, that is a real big one. It is a huge advantage. That, but that is, is if they get six questions right, which... To this day, we have never had. Right. Neither team, neither squad has ever had a chef get all six questions right. Now, well, you guys get to choose the topic. Here is the catch to this. Oh, right, yeah. If the squad picks five <laughs> and you only get four, unfortunately, they get nothing. So it's a uh, high risk, high reward there. So let's go ahead and talk to Derek. Derek, what do you want? Do you want pop culture or would you like music? Music. You're going to take music. I'm take all right. Music. Let me just say, I read all of the pop culture questions, and I got five out of six of them right, oh, personally. So you already picked music. Uh, squ uh, squads, you're going to see on your screen here, the voting is going to start in a minute, one through six there. How many do you think you could get right in a music? This is just general music. Four. You think you get four right? Yeah. All right. So you're pretty confident on that. Are you a big music fan? Yes. OK. Retro or like everything? Everything. everything. OK, I'm down with this. I'm, I, I'm going I'm, to take a road trip. I'm super into your confidence on this. Uh, so genres of music that you're most fond of and whatnot. Ooh, oh, man. Uh, you know what? From modern indie stuff, singer songwriter, yeah. all the way to like death metal. Like it's all, it's a broad spectrum. I'm confident. Ooh. I'm confident on Captain this. Captain Beefheart to Slayer. I go all the way through the whole. Captain Beefheart to Slayer. Yes. That's awesome. OK. Squads, this is up to you. If you want to choose four, go for it. Seems like squads recently have been all choosing three because it seems to be the safe number there. Yeah. But if you think you could get four and you want to encourage them to pick four, go for it. I mean, that is totally four. fine. Let's do, let's do. Let's go for it. All right. Well, squads have picked four. We are going to get Ooh. started on this. Are you ready? Yes. All right. Which member of Def Leppard died in 1991? Oh, uh, uh, oh that's the guitar player, and it's, um, oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, I don't want to. Bill Collins, the other guitar player, and then you've got Steve. Oh, do I need the whole name, or is Steve going to work? Production, are we going to take that? Steve? You get a half point. Might convert it later, if you can remember <laughs> it later. Number two, uh, Gangsta's Paradise was a number one for who? Oh, uh, um, that was, hold on. If you can remember any of his names. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> uh, God damn it. Oh, of course you guys would pick 90 stuff. Uh, Speed round, remember. Yep, 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 nope, pass. All right, which group is made up of Gibbs? The Bee Gees. All right, uh, which Olivia took magic to the top of the charts? Newton John. What was the original double A side of Prince's number one hit in 1999? Oh, Prince's number one hit, 1999. Little Red Corvette. All right, and what was the name of the guest guitarist on Michael Jackson's Dangerous album? The guest guitarist on Dangerous, uh, ooh, well, Jennifer Batten was on that album, uh, Slash. All right, perfect. That is four questions right for us. Now, uh, did, what's that? Four and, four and a half. Four and a half questions right for us. Did you want to know uh, the last name of the guy in Def Leppard yes. who died? Steve Clark. God damn uh, Gangsta's Paradise was for Puff Dad. Puff Dad. I thought Gangsta's Paradise was uh, Coolio. That's what I thought too. Oh. oh, but I couldn't remember. I was like, yeah. right. Well, awesome. That means we get four right. So that means we're starting Ow. out with a spatula, a medium pan, the rear burner, and any spice of your Dope. choice here. We'll pick all that out in the uh, middle or in our intermission here. Go ahead Ooh. over here, Mike. All right. Uh, first, I want to say that Squid Surf said 10 out of 10 heels. Bring your heels. They would wear them. Thank they you. I like these heels very much. I also they help people actually see me over high tables. That's great. Let's talk about your pop culture knowledge. Oh, you heard. I mean, God. you heard some of the. I heard you talking about some of the music questions. Did you think you know more? Oh of those no, 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 no. I'm so glad. Thank you for choosing music, <laughs> even though you excelled at it. I would, I would, I would be so. I would have not gotten those. 
Sorry, I got the Prince question right, but, uh, but that's it. Yeah. That's right. probably pop, it. So what about pop culture? Are you, are you, are you caught up on today's pop culture? Here's the problem culture? with pop culture is it's so broad, I can honestly tell you I have no idea if I'm going to be good at this or not. Again, success through lowered expectations is my life <laughs> motto, so I always assume that I'm going to do badly and then I'm, and then I'm really uh, thrilled if I don't do badly. Um, so. <laughs> well, the voting is starting there. I mean, you've, uh, you've seen what they can do. I mean, three seems to be the sort of safe route. I feel route. like you three feel like is you can do probably three. the safe. Now, let me ask you this. If I get more than three, do I get more things? You only get up, to, you up, to, only get up to what they vote, yeah. Boof. Okay, you but guys. Three, but three <laughs> does give you a heat source. I know, but those spices, man. I'm Indian. I want those spices, <clears throat> but I don't want nothing. So let's 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 say I, I'd probably urge you to pick three. All right. Well, they have selected three. Uh, Ishman says, "Can there be a sabotage where Mike wears the heels? <laughs> it would take so long." Yes. <laughs> Although if he breaks them, I will break him. See, so we, not, we, we do don't want that. that to happen. Gangster is Coolio. Someone see? else can can wear other heels. Okay. Anjali, yeah. are you ready for the speed round? No, but we're going to do it <laughs> <Right>. anyway. <clears throat> okay. Which actor made his debut as James Bond in the film Casino Royale in 2006? Uh, 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 oh my God, he's so hot and I can't remember him and he's, and he's married to Rachel Weisz. Daniel Craig. Correct. The show American Gods is based on a book originally written by who? Uh, Gaiman. Correct. Howard Wolowitz is a character from which popular U.S. TV show? Pass. Who is the oldest Kardashian sister? Him. <laughs> Incorrect. Okay. In the Ice Age movies, what is the name of the woolly mammoth? Pass. Kim Sears married which leading British sports star in April 2015? Kim Sears? Mm-hmm. Is that Posh Spice? That's not Posh Spice. Okay, <laughs> then I got nothing. All right, so incorrect. So you only got two right. You were, you were kind of close. That's all right. It's all right. No, it's uh, all right. Everything's fine. Everything's going to be fine. Everything's going to be fine. Howard Wolowitz is a character from The Big Bang Theory. Courtney is the oldest Kardashian sister. Manny is the name of the mammoth. And Kim Sears married Andy Murray. Yeah. I don't know who either of those two people are. Guys, I have I've disappointed you all. I was not meant for greatness. <laughs> <laughs> Let us discuss my failures. <laughs> I am what? excited. Symmetra herself, right there, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, all right. It's going down, you guys. You, should I just hand this over to them now? No. <laughs> you keep yeah. keep it, no, 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 no. You can hand that now. Yeah. Yeah. So here's what's going to happen. We're going to take a quick intermission. We're going to be right back with Squad Says Served, uh, where we're just going to get going. We're just get going. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. If you haven't followed the channel already, make sure you follow the channel. You've logged in. If you're coming from the front page of Twitch, make sure you join a squad because you can help determine the resource that these guys get, even though you guys are starting with basically a full meal. Yeah, Don't go are. anywhere. We'll be right back with Squad Says Served.